Yo, what's up guys? Yeah, Pokey Aim here with the Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon Wi-Fi Battle. Today we're going to be playing the Ubers tier. I found a battle versus Kaylin. I found him on my Twitter. Twitter is the best place to get a Wi-Fi battle with me. Twitter.com slash JoeyPokeGame. When I'm asking for a Wi-Fi battle, feel free to reply. And then maybe we could play. Uh, but Twitter or Twitch, best places to get a battle with me. Anyway, my team that I'm using was given to me by Mr. Jamvet. Now, this team was made back in September. So, it's pretty outdated. Uh, as it was made before Ultra Necrozma, Dustman Necrozma, and uh, Dawn Wings Necrozma were all revealed. But it's still relatively solid. And I feel like, though, it's going to be really tough to deal with the Dusk main, uh, depending on which one it is. Like, if it's Ultra, it's actually a little bit harder for me to deal with since my main switch into Ultra is going to be Arceus. But the Dusk main variant, uh, I have to switch into Hole on. Uh, but besides that, I feel like Lucario does really well versus team. Uh, besides the Pokemon right in front of you, you see Ho-Oh, it actually matches up really well. I let off with it just in case he let off with Deancey because I can get the Mega immediately and click Meteor Mash. But I switch out into my Arceus Fairy as he did lead better than I did. And uh, we find out right here that he is a Jolly Choice Band ho Now, I want to take the moment to give a shout out to Jam since... He's the only person I know that runs this defensive of an Arceus. A lot of people run up to 356 speed to outspeed Pokemon like uh, Lucario. Mega Lucario, rather. But this Arceus is bold, and it eats that hit up, and it's one point faster than Jolly uh, Ho, so I appreciate that. But he brings out his Duskmane, Nicarazuma. I love saying that Pokemon like that, as I'm going to go right into my physically defensive Ho, just throw off a Sacred Fire. Unfortunately, though, it turns out that he is Ultra Necrozma, and this Pokemon is incredibly hard for me to switch into at plus two. So, I went Ho-Oh first, uh, just in case he was even a Rocks or Toxic Fairy. I didn't mind Ho-Oh getting Toxic immediately, as I think that Arceus Fairy being able to deal with, uh, potentially this is better, or even the Eveltal is a lot better, but he does Ultra Burst right here as he is able to 2 kill me forward on Geyser. Even though I do have Pokemon like Ferrothorn on my team, they cannot take two hits. In fact, if he wanted to right now, he could throw off his Z-Move and either knock out my Ferrothorn or get it to like 95% or less than 95% or 95% damage off of me rather. But I go out to Ferrothorn. Thankfully, he does switch out. Uh, basically, the Z-Move would have knocked out Arceus Fairy. Marshadow Shadow Sneak did not knock him out and Lucario's Bullet Punch did not knock him out yet. And he's faster than all my Pokemon. So I went Ferrothorn. Thankfully, like I said, he decided to switch out the hole where he could have just went for his Z-Move right there even earlier quick into a KO to me. Jarabalt did not knock him out, uh, though it did put him in range of any of my priority, which was my game plan right there. Uh, but goes back on to Ho-Oh, throws off a Sacred Fire and gets a burn on Arceus, which I'm okay with because that means that he can't talk to me if he does have it on a Veltal or even as a secondary or a last move on Ho, since Choice Man Ho can run Brave Bird, Earthquake, and Sacred Fire. Those are all the moves that you quote unquote need. And then last move can either be uh, Defog, Roost, Toxic, even Sleep Talk, though Sleep Talk is a lot more rare now since Dark Rise, Dark Void is nerfed. But brings in the Kyogre as I do have a full HP special defensive Feral Thorn just to bring it on that. So I would have loved to have Hole in this game, I'm not gonna lie. It was so annoying for him to deal with. I just Toxic everything, burn everything with Sacred Fire. He literally could not beat it. But I had no real play versus the Ultra Necrozma. I had nothing that I could do versus that, I feel. Uh, especially because plus two Z-Move knocks out defensive Arceus Fairy always. But I bring my Feral Thorn and I decide to get up my rocks right now because this hole has been switching in too much. I also need to be able to chip away at that Ultra Necrozma for Shadow Sneak from Mars Shadow if it comes down to it. Uh, as well as the Eveltal for my Lucario. Because again, Lucario is the Pokemon that has the highest chance of sweeping, I feel. But I do have, again, the physically defensive Arceus Fairy. So he's going to throw off a Sacred Fire. I do not mind stalling him out of these because now he only has two left. Or, I mean, now he's used two, so he only has six left, excuse me. But I recover right here as he does throw off another Sacred Fire, which is, again, again great. Like, I don't mind stalling him out. That means that Feral Thorn doesn't have to take him. Uh, the, the less he has, the better. Because I can always switch into this Pokemon. But we'll recover again as he is going to switch out now, which is, you know, relatively smart. He should be able to bring in his uh, Magirna or even Kyogre if you want it to be a bit more offensive. But decides to bring in Magirna, which I do not mind at all. A Ferrothorn does take the hit, and I can Leech Seed back up. And basically, with Rocks up, Ho isn't appreciating switching in on me. Even if he goes something like a Veltal, I get. I'm talking about the turns after, like after I go for Leech Seed. But even if he goes something like that, I get recovery always. And every single Flurry Cannon he goes for right here, again, he only has seven left. And those seven are very crucial to keep count because 
One, they don't even OCO Lucario from full ever. And two, if he doesn't have any, he can't knock on Lucario and I can get an SD versus this thing. So he actually double flirt cannons, which I can respect that play because he expected me to predict uh, either the Ho-Oh or I think that's pretty much it. Like he expected me to double out to Mar Shadow, predict the Ho because at that point after rocks, uh, Mar Shadow could click a Z move and get a KO. But I unfortunately missed the Leech Seed, which doesn't matter too too much since I do manage to land the next one. And at the end of the uh, turn, I'm almost at full anyway. Of course, you know being at full would be nice, but I could probably Leech Seed later versus Magirna if it comes down through it. I do land the Leech Seed on the incoming Veltal, which I'm fairly positive is defog especially when i do see leftovers on this thing so when i see leftovers i'm thinking defensive and veltal which is good and bad good because the move it usually has on defensive and veltal is just foul play which means that lucario can take a hit but bad as well because it means that lucario does not knock it out after rocks with close combat so i go directly to Arceus fairy if he wants to go for knockoff there or defog Arceus came in anyway he opted to go for roost which is really nice because that means that my Arceus actually uh, gets it for free. Rocks are still kept up. And he doesn't appreciate switching in on this Pokemon at all. Uh, again, he does have that Magirna, which I don't care too much about. I actually pull a double on myself. Uh, and the reason I pulled this double out into Zapdos is because it covered... Oh, no, I did Toxic. Sorry. That was another turn I went for. My bad. I went for Toxic right here because it can hit the anti prior Mega Evolution. It could also hit Ho. He makes a good play of going out into Magirna right now. Uh, but I double right now, or I switch out rather, into Zapdos as opposed to just uh, recover stalling him. Because one, if he goes for Fleur Cannon, because of pressure, he loses an extra PP. Two, this also covered the double out into a Veltal, which I thought he could make if he predicted my Feral Thorn to come out. And three, it also covered that double into Ho. So I get his Zapdos right here as he does go a Veltal. Awesome, awesome, awesome. He does not appreciate switching in on this. I think I could have been a little bit aggressive this turn and actually went out to Lucario since I think Deancey would be his always switch in anyway. But I decided to throw off a Thunderbolt because I don't need to play aggressively to win this game. I don't think I need to. I think even though I'm in the back and I have way less Pokemon than him, or just one less, but at this point he has a lot of momentum going, I can still win the game with Lucario if I play it smart. So he brings out the Deancey. Uh, I don't decide to stay in and take a potential power jump. I don't mind him going for rocks if he needs to. Actually, rocks are, I think, worse for him just because he's more pressure to defog than me. So I'll probably never click it, but he will click it because he has a hole coming in at 50%. But uh, except the rocks and then goes for substitute. And I'm like, crap, this is sub endeavor Deancey, which means that my Ferrothorn would be really weak. And I need Ferrothorn to take on potentially a hit from Ultra Necrozza. Uh, as well as potentially taking out hits from Kyogre and Leech Seeding on the Gearda. So I decided to switch out to Mar my Mars Shadow because if he went for Endeavor or Substitute, uh, Spectral Thief goes through Sub and Endeavor obviously doesn't affect Ghost types, but he calls that play really, really, really well. Throws off a Moon Blast. Very, very solid play on my opponent's part. Throws off a Moon Blast, knocks out the incoming Mars Shadow. I still feel though that Feral Thorn was a lot more useful because it actually provides a pivot to Ultra Necrozma as well as Kyogre. Whereas Mars Shadow, though offensively, it did a lot better versus the team. Defensively, and especially because I'm going for game with my Lucario, it's better to have Ferrothorn alive. But uh, I do Mega Evolve right here, go for Close Combat. Close Combat pretty much secured a KO no matter what play he made right there. I either 2 a KO something or o code something. Uh, Ho actually has a chance to go down, a really solid chance to go down at the HP it's at. But he brings out his Ultra Necrozma, and this is why I do have Ferrothorn. I did talk about how this was a pivot for it. Uh, because he does have that Z move, I actually cannot go directly out into Arceus Fairy. Because if he goes to Photon Geyser, plus Stealth Rock, plus Burn, into Z move, I actually go right down. So, again, this Pokemon is extremely hard to switch into. And this animation is amazing, by the way. This is a sp this is actually a Spirit Bomb. This is actually a Spirit Bomb. I felt so bad for my Ferrothor right here. Because this is a resisted move, guys. This is a res It doesn't look like a resisted move. In fact, the, <laughs> the battle should end it right here. I should have just fell over. My DS should have died right now. I don't know. Because look at this. Look at this. And Ferrothor just sits here like, yeah, this is young. Oh my, oh my god. That's not, that's Ferrothor right now. He's like, mm, resist. But he takes over half from the resisted Z move. And at this point, I have to hope he stays in and doesn't switch. Thankfully, he does. I'm able to go for Jar Ball. And this is so crucial because, again, that late game sweep with Lucario is looking more and more likely because now he is in range of Bullet Punch. I don't have to worry about that at all. Unfortunately, switching into Kyogre has become non-existent, but I'm able to get off the damage on uh, the, the Crosma that I absolutely needed. 
to pretty much put him in range of that bullet punch. The reason I didn't switch out is because Photo Geyser actually knocked out my Feral Throw in that range, and Photo Geyser into Sun Steel Strike because of Neuro Force, its ability could have knocked out physically defensive Arceus. Uh, after rocks and burn, but I'm gonna go out to Lucario right now. Gonna throw off a bullet punch as he is gonna bring out his Kyogre. Now, I have a choice to make. If this is offensive Kyogre, I knock it out. I knock it out with close combat. If it's defensive Kyogre, he does not knock out my Zapdos and potentially, or he doesn't, he he doesn't die to close combat, but then Zapdos revenge kills. And potentially Zapdos can actually sub pressure stall everything. But because we are playing on Wi Fi and this isn't like a tournament that actually matters to me, I'm not gonna try and pressure stall him. But I feel like I could have just close combat right there and then went Zapdos and literally sub roostalled his entire team. Doesn't matter if he flirt cannoned me uh, and hard swap, which does go through sub. It did not matter at all. Also, Zapdos took the Scald and I could Thunderbolt into close combat range, but because he did go for Origin Pulse and actually knocked me out, I know that he is an offensive Kyogre, which means that Lucario could come in, knock him out with close combat. Uh, but again, if this was a tournament, if this was a showdown, if this was a GBA, if it was a UCL, I would have definitely sub roost stalled, sub pressure stall, PP stalled, timer stalled, DS stalled. But at this point now, I go Arceus Fairy because he has to go for Flare Cannon, right? He has to go for Flare Cannon, and what I'm doing is just stalling them out. I think these are misplays though, staying in as opposed to going out to something like uh, Ho and just spamming Sacred Fire. Uh, or even hold back into that, but I actually decided to pull out the switch into my Lucario. At this point, he only has, I believe, one Fleur Cannon left. One Fleur Cannon left. So, I bring a Lucario, or two, two. I think it's two or three. I might be wrong, but I bring a Lucario right now as he actually switches out into his Veltal. Now, keep in mind, my Arceus Fairy was minus six, and his Magirna was minus four special attack. But, right there, I think this is the only regret that I had this entire game, not going for the roll with close combat. While the roll was pretty much a 50-50, I feel like if I got it right there, I kept rocks up, which always kept ho at bay. And then the end game didn't have to come down to what it does, as you guys will see as it goes on. But he does defog, and then he decides to stay in right here uh, with his Aveltal and let me knock it out with Judgment. Which I'm okay with, because that means Lucario has less of a Pokemon, or less of a problem to deal with. Had I SD'd right there on his defog, uh, I could have knocked him out, but I didn't knock out ho -Oh. And then, uh, unless I got a super high roll, I didn't knock out ho -Oh. But... Right here, I missed click, and I was so mad because Judgment looks like Recover on Wi-Fi. They're both uh, normal, so even though obviously it's fairy because of my thing, but I missed click, and that means that I have to. I can't PP stall it, or I can't. Uh, I can't HP stall it because of Brainbird recoil, right? So basically, because I did miss click Judgment, he's gonna be able to beat me with the burn. Uh, plus Brave Bird, but I can go route to Lucario, and there's still a chance for me to win, right? If I go for Meteor Mash right now, and I get the attack raise after I knock out Ho, because it does knock out Ho, I win the game. He actually, in my opinion, chokes uh, and switches out into Magirna, because this is a 97% chance to 2 KO Magirna, always, with Meteor Mash. Not always, but the potential of the miss, and I actually had a huge, huge, huge chance to KO uh, Ho as well. That was his last Flur Cannon. That was his last Flare Cannon. But basically, had he stayed in a Brave Bird, uh, and I didn't get the attack raise, all the gear I had to do was hit the Flare Cannon and it would win the game. Because unless I got plus one, but Gira did not go down. But I went for Meteor Mash because I knew that plus one close combat would knock out Magirna. Unfortunately, I do miss the second Meteor Mash, which would have knocked out Magirna 97% uh, of the time. And, well, not factoring a miss. And then Ho was in range of close combat. The roll was actually in my favor. We talked about it. I just really sucked that it came down to me misclicking that judgment because I could have recover stalled. Then all I had to do was literally outplay one Flare Cannon, and then Lucara could SD up and win the game. Unfortunately, that's not how the game goes. I ended up missing. But I did enjoy this game. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I do feel like some Ru Zapdos could have just won. But again, I wasn't really about to do that in a friendly Wi-Fi battle that I didn't care about at all. And also, I, I still feel like I played it to the point where Lucario would win the game in the end, but then Meteor Mash missed. And Meteor Mash was my best play because I think that it gave me the most amount of chances to not have to worry about that roll, right? Because if Meteor Mash did hit, it knocked out Magirna, and also having that 20% uh, chance to get the attack raise, which meant that it would not be a roll versus hole, and I knock it out with close combat anyway. Uh, like I said, if I close combat it there, I knocked out Magirna, and then it would still be a roll versus hole, but I feel like Meteor Mash gave me the highest odds. Maybe that doesn't make much sense because of the chance of missing. Like, you factor in that chance of missing, but I don't know. I still feel like I did what I had to do at the end game, and unfortunately, the game did not reward me. But I do hope you guys all enjoyed this Wi-Fi battle. It was a lot of fun. Feel free to subscribe, of course. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Those links are down below. I still am a bit congested. I do apologize. It's just, it's winter, man. It's what happens to me. But 
I do hope you guys all enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, friends.